So I, I have one. This one's a little more near near and dear to what I'm currently doing right now, which is okay. recruiting. And you dealt a lot of, with that in your, your past. And everybody in the hospitality industry will tell you that you are constantly recruiting. You are always going to be hiring people. It's just the nature of the business, thankfully. Um, if you're good at what you do, then people are leaving to go on to better things. Not everybody wants to be a ride operator or a front desk agent. People have um, greater ambitions than that. That's wonderful. However, uh, this day and age, it's getting uh, more difficult to recruit people from the, the same old tired, you know, I have an ad out on um, career builder or I have an ad in the newspaper. What are some kind of off the chart thinking or outside the box thinking of ways that you would recruit? Mm. And that, that you've seen that, I'm sorry, that you recruit that you've seen that are successful. Excellent. Excellent. Um, well, I'm sure you can answer this question too, but um, because you're in that business right now, um, you know, I still think there is value in recruiting people that know people that already work there. So, you know, birds of a feather flock together. So if Dallas is on my team and I know Dallas is a rock star, he's probably got some friends that are rock stars too. And especially in this business where, you know, you ask people, why did they get a job here? Well, my friend works here. You know, it's right. a very social business. And, and of course, then you have to manage that friendship once you get them on staff or maybe they work in different departments or whatever the case may be. But, you know, if you can get, get your, your team members and your associates to help recruit, then it's not just you recruiting. It's, you know, 10 or 15 or 1,000 people who are helping you to recruit. So I think that's a great place to, um, to start that's, that's, you know, a little different, like you said, than putting an ad out and things like that. Um, what's that? So you're saying word of mouth? Word of mouth, absolutely. Um, I also think there's there's um, some people who, who've had success and some some interesting things that go on when you when you look for people who are already fans of what you do. So that's where you can really tap into if you have a, a Facebook fan page and you notice the people that are interacting or that are sharing your posts a lot. Um, those are potentially people that can can serve your guests well because they already like and understand what it is that you do. I think right. one of the one of the biggest challenges any employer has is not only getting the recruits in the door and getting them through the application process, but getting them to buy into your culture. So if you've already got somebody that understands who you are and understands the kind of kind of product you're trying to deliver to your guests, then now I just have to teach them how to run the register or you know fold the t-shirts or whatever it is and and boom they're going to be able to to um be a part of that much, much easier. Yeah. I've always felt that you can, you can teach anybody how to run a register, you can teach anybody yeah. how to push buttons, you can teach people how to run your software, but there's a lot of stuff that you can't uh, teach. And that is, like you said, getting along with, you know, other people and having people that believe what you believe. Right. So how do you find them? Um, so funny, I, I wish I'd ask you this question before I had a, uh, an interview not too long ago where uh, that question was asked of me and you answered it so much better than I did. Well, feel um, free to use my answer if you have to, you know. <laughs> I, I will. I, um, but I have done word of mouth. And in fact, my team that I have right now, you know, in the, my last stack meeting with them, I, I flat out said, I need people. And I want people that you already like. You know, you're part of this team. I want people that are going to be a part of this team that are going to get along with you already because I can teach them to do anything. I can't teach them to like you. And um, thankfully, some of my people have rose to the challenge. They put posts on Facebook and they said, you know, this job is hiring. And uh, now I have six people in my queue waiting to start, which is wonderful because until that, I was in a rut and there was quite a few people that I guess weren't quite the caliber that I was looking for. They would okay. come in okay. and just in t-shirt and jeans and just be like, yeah. so what do I do here? What's the pay? You know, the, those people aren't really the motivations type that I, I'm looking for. So I had a lot of duds. So that's why, why I wanted to ask about the recruiting. No. And, and, and I think the, having that standard up, you know, up front, you know, gives you somebody or gives you an idea of what you're truly looking for. So, you know, you're not looking for just somebody that can, um, you know, that has a pulse. You know, somebody that does have um, a more more guest service skills or likes what you do already, That's that gives you something to look for. Um, I also think, and I know not everybody can do this, but when you look at what a company like Zappos does, and they pay people to leave essentially, you know, in a nutshell, if you don't work out, here's, you know, a month's salary or whatever, go someplace that you do work, you, you will work out. Um, I don't know that 
and it's, it's tough in the hospitality business, no doubt about it, when you're hiring so many people and they're young and they're really not on a career path yet. Um, yeah. But that attitude that, you know what, this may not be the right thing for you and you may not know that until you're six months in. Yeah. Okay. You know, so let's, let's try to figure that out together. You know, I think that's, I think that's part of, of continually recruiting, right? Is you're continually recruiting people in, but you also have to continually recruit people out. I recruit just, people out. I just made that up. I don't know if that's a term. But... That's amazing. That's what your next book should be called. Recruiting people out. It sounds so much better than managing people out. Right? Yeah. I'm going to recruit them. I'm going to recruit for another employer. You need to right. trademark that right now because it's <laughs> off the call. I am stealing that website address. Right All right. Now. Fantastic. That's fine. I'm going to charge you an arm and a leg. All right. Recruit <laughs> people out. I like it. Well, I, it's similar to something I saw. You know, when you when you have somebody, and I know you've worked with people like this, so you know we're just not working out. And yeah. you either manage them to rise to your standards or you manage them out. Right. You know, or, you know, that type of thing. So we're going to now recruit people out. <laughs> I love it. Thanks for watching this episode of Leader Tips Q&A. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes come out. If you have a question for me, or if you'd have a question that you'd like to see addressed on a future episode, go ahead and put it in the comments. Thanks for watching.